Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Leah, the day I met you, as we said our goodbyes and you walked away, a small voice inside me said, don't let her go. That small nudge led me to my best friend and set me on the greatest adventure of my life. You deserve something that I alone cannot provide. You deserve a man who is relentlessly Christ-centered and loves you abundantly out of the abundance of his love. I believe the Holy Spirit was that small nudge that day. I promise to always look for that influence in my life. I will always seek the Lord's guidance in our home. I will treat you with a gentleness, a kindness, and a reverence that is so apparent to the world, and one day to our children. I want our children to have a clear picture of love in the way that I faithfully adore you. I will listen to you and honor you. I will celebrate with you and cry with you. We will never stop having fun. The joy in your life is my motivation. And whether it is wacky dates or walks on the beach, we will always find ways to keep life interesting. Growing closer to you is such a privilege. I want to learn something new about you every day. I thank the Lord for blessing us abundantly, and I can't wait to see the blessings in store for us. I love you, Leah, and I always will. Thank you, Andy, for showing me the true meaning of love, that it isn't about loving someone for how perfect they are, but loving them despite all their flaws and failures, that it isn't about what you get in return, but how you can serve the other, that it's about sacrificing and laying your life down for each other in the same way that Jesus laid his life down for us. I want to be faithful to you, forsaking all others in the way that Christ is faithful to us. I promise to be true to you in sickness and in health, in richer and in poor, until death do us part, 
and I promise to always look to Jesus as my ultimate example in the way that I love you. Andy, I honestly believe that you are a gift from God, a gift I've prayed for since I was young. It is my prayer that we will bring glory to Him and serve Him more effectively together than we could on our own. I pray that the way I love you will be a small reflection of the way that Jesus loves us. Years ago, God gave me a promise that He would make everything in my life beautiful in His time. And even though love isn't about what you get in return, I honestly believe that God gave me everything I've ever wanted when He gave you to me. Today, He fulfilled His promise to you, and now I'm making a promise before Him to give myself to you. I love you. Having heard your vows before your guests and before God Almighty, it's by the authority granted me as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, that I pronounce you husband and wife. Andy, you may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andy and Leah Berkevile. Thank you. 